Hi friends, as always, I'm very excited to see you here. If you're meeting for the first time, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, research and statistics on this channel. To stay updated with the latest on this channel, I urge you to consider subscribing to the channel. If you're planning to do any scholarly research, a major or a minor project, try using Research Rabbit for building up a literature review or getting an idea of a particular research area. In the next 10 minutes, I'll show you how to use Research Rabbit for area. Research Rabbit starts with a seed paper and gives us an idea about related papers, about papers written after that, about uh, other themes. You need to type researchrabbit.ai in the address bar to get this interface. If you are logging in for the first time, you need to sign up. And sign up is pretty easy, it just requires certain very simple information since I've already logged in. So this is the interface. You get new collection, new category, connect to Zotero. And it starts off with an uncategorized uh, category and there is a collection. So we start building connections here. If you start with a new category say for example i want the new category to be ai and journalism so let's add this category this has been added here we need to add collections here so if i just press collections i can start off with new papers now i can add papers here so just click here I can either use a title or if I remember, uh, if I know the DUI or the PMID or keywords, whatever, I can just type in here or I can even upload a file. But let me just type in AI and journalism search. It asks me whether I want it for biomedical and life sciences or I want it for all subject areas. So I want it for all subject areas. And this is what I get here. So depending on what I want, find this interesting introduction to AI journalism, framework and ontology, etc. I can add this to the collection. AI journalism, social media platforms and fake news. I can add this artificial intelligence and journalism and agenda for journalism research in Africa. Let's add this again. There's another one mass media trends, implementation of AI, etc. I can this as well. So I can keep on adding from this particular collection here. Now, once that has been added, so I can see here six papers have been added in new papers and these are the options. So I can see the abstracts also, it will show me the abstracts here. If I have some comments to make there, I can just add comments beneath each of these things. For example, this paper is about ontology. And I can switch on or off the abstracts and the comments here. I can also use a filter here. So here I have these papers. I can either select some of them. So if I select one of these papers, so this paper is selected and I can see all the information about here. This is telling me that no PDF is available for this particular paper. For example, for this paper here, mass media trends, implementation of AI, etc. The PDF is available. So I can click onto the PDF here and it will open in a new tab and it will be saved to my computer the, all the important informations it's here again on the right side of the screen if i want to know about these things i get all the information that there are 27 papers similar to this i can get information about these authors it also shows me about suggested authors or if i want to go deep inside any of these articles or any of these papers i can go to all these levels i can also add or look for similar papers so if i select all for example it is telling me that there are 951 similar work i want to see them i just need to click on to these 951 similar work here and all these options are available here in the network so the green ones are the ones that i that are already in my collection these are the ones that are already in the connection but the others are all related to each other so if i want to find out about any particular paper i just need to click on to that 
for example graph 2018 it will tell me what this paper was all about and again this will show me all information about similar work about citations about references etc similarly if i want to find out any other paper which is centered and which is towards the sociology of computational and algorithmic journalism so this is telling me that there are 100 and 1036 similar works and these are the references and it has been cited 177 times and it can give me information about the authors as well so about uh, cw anderson i can go back to the collections and if i for example i want to add this to a new paper i can add this to my collection again if there is any other thing in the network which i think is central for example the ones central which everybody else is citing i can just go and click there i can zoom in also for example this is also pretty close to the center so i click on to this public service chatbots automating etc i can add this again to the collection i started off with ai in journalism then i got all these six papers and then with similar papers i can get this information there are two or three very important things here first is about earlier work work which came before this particular work that I have chosen. So this is the one which has been selected, Introduction to AI Journalism, etc. The work before that. So these are the work that has come before that. And I can see that the green ones are the ones which are already there in my collection list. So with the blue circles here, I can decide whether I want to add them to my list or not. I can also get information about later work here. And that's very important. I just click on to later work here and I get this here again in this network the ones which are later work based on this particular paper introduction to AI journalism etc and the green ones as usual are the ones that are already in my collection the blue ones are not in my collection I can add them if I want I can see this as a network I can also see all these things using a timeline so if I use a timeline I get here the ones which were there earlier the ones which are there in 2016 the ones in 2020 22 etc so with the timeline also I can get it I can check it with first author I can also check it with the last author I can export all these papers either using a bib tech so I can just use bib tech to export it and then I can open it on my Zotero file this is linked to Zotero as well I'll, I can connect this to Zotero as well an important thing here that can be done is that I can make this collection public so if I just check this this collection becomes public so I can share this link over here and it, it, it can be seen by others since i've made this a public collection by clicking on to this button here i can see this mark here which suggests that this is a public collection so I just need to open it and i can see that this is a public collection i can copy it and share it with others or i can add collaborators here somebody with whom i'm working i can add his or her email address and can get these permissions that either he or she can just read the collection or they can add papers on their own i can invite people here using their email addresses can rename this i can have a description for the collection i want to rename this ai basic papers can duplicate this collection also so this is a very useful tool to not only find out about uh, the paper and the uh, using similar work using earlier work using later work also using linked contents if i click on to linked content it is just providing me with uh, the reference list all these things are in the linked content there are suggested authors as well so these authors i have a list of all these authors here i can see these the connection between the authors so which are the authors which have done similar work which are the ones which are outside the network and which are the ones which are central so this gives me a very good idea about uh, the kind of work that is going around in the field. So just by using these few clicks, I've been able to get a fair idea about uh, research in the field. Thanks for staying along, friends. As always, it has been a delight having you here. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, have a great time.